Hi, welcome to the Carver Art Studio. My name is Miss Levy. I'm going to be your teacher this year, and I love art. It is my favorite thing. A little bit about me. I am a mom and a daughter. These are my boys. This is our house that we just bought into below. That's my mom. This is George. He is a good boy. His favorite time of day is to go for a walk with me in the morning. And he loves art. I wanted to also show you a little bit of my art. Maybe you might see George. Do you see him? How about now? Do you see George? I also paint other dogs. I paint flowers too, I paint all kinds of things. So let's have a tour of the class. When you come in the room, you're gonna sit down on these dots on the floor, legs crisscross applesauce, hands on your lap, eyes on me, ready to learn. But your mouth also has to be closed. We have so many great supplies in this room and we'll be sitting on those dots. And then we're also, for our project, we're gonna be sitting at some tables. Our tables are all the colors of the rainbow. And we have uh, purple, red, green, blue, and purple, red, green, blue. What am I forgetting? Hmm, yellow. That's what I'm forgetting. If you ever get lost, you can look above your table at that star. We also have an art store where we're gonna have supplies for each project that we get. And we have so many great supplies, but we're gonna have carts that hold the basic supplies that we need, like crayons and erasers and pencils. Those will be in the cart that matches the color of your table, as well as some baby wipes where we can wipe our hands, but you only need a baby wipe if your hands are dirty, not if your hands are still clean. In the front of the room, we have our art room rules. A stands for, let's go over those really quick. A stands for aim. R stands for respect, and T stands for trust. And I will go over those art room rules. We have a happy sad board. This could earn you an extra point or get a point taken away on your classroom dojo if you do a good job. We also have an open sign on one side, and on the other side, it says closed. And I'll explain more about that in a minute. We also have a classroom catchphrase that we say every single day that we come to art. We'll have some vocabulary that we're learning. And eventually when we get really good at it, we'll have some art room jobs. We also have some great art books that you can look at during a special time. And I'll be reading a lot of them for you. Let's talk about today's project. Today's project, we're gonna be making sketchbooks. Sketchbooks are really important as an artist to get better at being an artist. So today, your job is going to be to decorate your sketchbook, the cover of it, using these paint sticks. They are tempera paint that almost comes out like a glue stick. So you have to raise them up a little bit, but it dries in about 90 seconds. So I would like you to use some really great, big, bold colors to color an interesting cover of your sketchbook. You could cover your sketchbook in just lines. You could do a picture of your family, but when you're all done, you need to put it in the box back at art store. And it'll have your teacher's name on it. And then you get to sit back down at your table and you're gonna work together to color the cover of your table. Once these are all painted up, we're going to laminate them and they are gonna be our table covers for the whole year in art class to keep the tables nice and shiny. So when you're all done, turn your paint stick down and put the cap on it and put it back in the bin. When we're all done, you're going to hear a sound. That's the bell, time to clean up. When you hear the clean up bell, you have to 
stand up, tidy up your table, make sure that all your uh, paint sticks are in their container, push your chair in, and then stand behind your chair with your zero in the air. Zero stands for zero talking. So you can't have your zero in the air if you're still talking. Once you're all done and it's really super quiet, I will dismiss you to line up at the door to go back to your class with your teacher. Uh, but I'm looking for kids who are really quiet, standing nice and still with their zero in the air. I know you can do it. I'm excited. Um, I cannot wait to see what amazing art you create this year.